Hi, this is a quick tutorial on size flags. Uh, size flags are super useful ways that you can tell Godot to smartly fit uh, different control nodes against each other, uh, depending if you're using special nodes like VBox container or the HBox container or like the margin container. But I'll just start with something simple. Let's say I've got a main control node and I want this to fit the size of the whole screen. You can see right now that it's not fitting all the way to the border. I could click on Layout and Full Rectangle, and that'll maximize the size of this parent node when the screen size changes. Um, but as for this, you can see that the size isn't the same either. I might want to do that here. OK, so this VBox container is going to align my labels and my buttons top, uh, up and down like this. But over here, uh, I can't do that. Um, I have to use the size flags in order to control the children of a VBox container or an HBox container. If I click on expand, well, nothing happens. It's horizontal. I've already got all the room in the world. Vertical, though, now we get we see that we have these labels have spread their way across the entire parent control nodes, except for where the buttons need to be. I can do this to size flags, uh, expand for the buttons, and now both of these HBox containers take up the same amount of space equally underneath the VBox container. Um, and I can do the same for the buttons. Something fishy is going on. I don't know why this expand doesn't work. Let's go into the children. You see I've got these two buttons. Um, Let's try changing those size flags. If we go to horizontal expand, now this button takes up the entire width of my parent. I can do the same for this one, size flag expand. And so I can just control, you can even unclick fill and see how um, they take up the entire row, but they only take up the smallest amount of possible space needed. You can do uh, shrink center, which will center your objects in the middle of the expanded space or shrink end, which will make it go to the end. I personally like doing fill. Um, so now if I, I can do the same for these uh, labels as well, size flags. Let's go to expand and fill vertically, uh, expand horizontally. OK, maybe I would want my labels to be in the dead center middle of their quadrant. So maybe instead of fill for vertical, I'll go to shrink center. So now they're going to be in the center of the space that they're given. I could also change the align of the labels uh, just to center. So now I have a complete scene that uh, lets me click on these four, uh, these two buttons and see these two labels. And everything is spread out very equally. I can even go into custom constants and change the amount of separation. So like having. You know, you won't see it much here because there's a lot of space for these um, different children to have between each other. But if we went to the buttons uh, and went over to custom constant for this HBox uh, container, uh, separation, let's type in like 32, 64. Now I have extra room between these buttons. Um, and the cool thing is that you can even duplicate and add more buttons, and it'll just scale uh, everything appropriately, adding 32 pixels of separation, 16 pixels of separation between each of these buttons. Uh, it's a super useful feature I found for using control nodes and definitely something I wish I knew sooner. Uh, but I hope this was useful for you if you've never seen this before. Definitely give it a try. Um, feel free to ask me any questions in the comments. Uh, have a good day. Good luck.